hi guys welcome back to our youtube channel so for today's video we will, we will be having a fascinating topic today so i have here two beautiful women so these are my co-candidates say hi guys hi <laughs> so what's your name um. Hello guys, I'm Susana Sadal Putaire. Maharu, hi! <laughs> I'm from Maruhai, Midorean Cebu, and I'm 23 years of age, and I'm studying Bachelor of Science in Criminology. Wow, Criminology! Yes. So what, what do you do in Criminology? Um, I'm going to, um, I, will, I want to become a policewoman yeah. someday, and yes, my hobby is um, I'm singing. <laughs> ah, she likes, you like singing. Yes, of course. So her talent is singing guys during the um, Miss Middle and competition, during the pageant. So he, uh, she sang. And then how about you? Hi guys. So I am Regina Indak. I am from Diagon, candidate from Diagon. So I am 18 years old. Okay, I'm gonna... I am 18 years old and I love to sing and also I love to dance. Um, Do you still study? Yeah, from Altorians and my strand is ICT, Information, Communication and Technology. So what do you want to take the course in the future? What course? Tourism. I want to be a flight attendant someday. <gasps> oh my god, we're the same! I want to, wow! I want to be a flight attendant too, but you know, I changed course, but doesn't mean I won't pursue it. So yeah. yeah. Of course. <laughs> So I will be asking them five questions. So are you guys ready? When I say ready na, ready na, you say aha, aha. Ready na, ready na. Aha, aha. Aha. First question, how do you personally navigate the balance between traditional Filipino values and modern influences in your daily lives? Ah, okay. Um, <laughs> navigating the balance between uh, traditional Filipino, uh, Filipino values and modern influences um, requires finding harmony and um, adap adapting the changing times and, and while still respecting cultural roots. Yeah, I agree with you. So even though like it's like we are modern now, so we will still have to like balance or respect what we do before, or like our cultural values, right? Yeah. So how about you? What is your opinion on this one? Uh, ultimately, ladies, we oh. should be we should be true to ourselves as we navigate between oh. the traditional and Being the modern. That is the word. Yeah. Not the city. <laughs> okay. Here go. That's all. Yeah. That yeah. would be all. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next question. Ta -da -da -da. Candidate number five. I eleven. Eleven. <laughs> okay. Can you share? Okay, Maharu, I will uh, no, answer first. Can you share a specific instance where you felt torn between upholding tradition and embracing modernity as a Filipino woman? Um. Well, I don't have personal experiences. Uh, for me, a specific instance where a Filipino right. woman uh, might be might be feel from between tradition and modernity uh, could be deciding whether to pursue a career that challenges societal expectations and um, still respecting family values. Yes, okay. I agree. Also, we have the same answer. Yeah. So what are your thoughts? Why? Yo! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why is Okay, next. What aspect of traditional Filipino culture do you find most important to preserve in the face of modernization? One of the most important is to preserving aspects of traditional Filipino culture, such as um, strong family bonds, respect for elders, and cultural celebrations can be can be essential in presenting our unique identity uh, amidst um, no, modernization. Yes, yes, I agree. I agree really. Respect to the elders and also yeah, uh, cultural. Of celebrations are so important yeah that's so important culture. yes of course like our festivals so we just had our like fiesta the other yeah. day it's like a tubhan festival yes so <laughs> it is it is in our blood that we really um 
put importance in our cultural celebrations yes, here. Yes, of course. Yes, yeah. that's yes. that's more important. Yes, and also, how about you? Um, the Filipino culture is known for hospitality and generosity mm -hmm, towards mm -hmm. guests and strangers. Um, this values reflects to our kindness and compassion and a sense of community that are integrated the Filipino identity. Yeah. Yeah, I agree too because one of the like strangers or like other foreigners like about us Filipinos is how hospitable yes. Filipinas are. Yeah, and it is, it is really like such an honor to us that we are called a hospitable person. One of the most hospitable persons in the world are the Filipinos. Yeah, yeah. Yes. exactly. Uh, one. Yeah. <laughs> How has the role of Filipina women evolved over the years in the response to modern societal changes? Uh, for me, the role of Filipina women has evolved over the years with more opportunities for education, career advancement, and a uh, wider professional pursuits. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I really agree to the due to the advancement in technology. Yeah, I agree that um, it really widens a range of our like minds, you know. And how about you, Bebe? Filipino women are actively involved in advocacy and activism, um, championing causes such as women's rights, um, reproductive health and gender equality and social justice. They are raising their voice to address societal issues and bring about positive change. That is how it has evolved right now due to its advocacy and activism, how um, the uh, voice of women's rights, justice, and gender equality. And I agree with that too. It is really important too that we have to raise it because it is women empowerment. <laughs> yes, women empowerment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Next and last question. Yay, last question. Are you happy? It is the last question. Yes. <laughs> I'm so happy. Yeah. Okay. No speed. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, last question. What advice would you give to the younger Filipino women who are struggling to find their place between tradition and modernity? Uh, for me, to younger Filipino women struggling with uh, tradition and modernity, my advice would be to embrace the values that me, me. resonate with them, uh -huh. explore their passions, seek support, seek support from mentors, and. Um, shape their own unique identity while being mindful of the cultural heritage and uh, their enriches their um lives yeah period that explains everything <laughs> okay yeah i agree i agree really really that was a wonderful answer how about you remember that you have the autonomy to create your own path don't feel constrained by societal expectations or norms follow your passions and aspiration even the debate from traditional rules thank you wow that would be all thank you okay <laughs> so we have now our miss million 2024 thank you so much guys for cooperating this, this time so that ends our interview but first before i will end this video are you guys single? Yeah. <laughs> yes, of, of course. course. <laughs> I I am almost four years single. Now. Ready to mingle. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to mingle. <laughs> okay. If ever someone wants to talk to you from our subscribers and talking to Destiny, what qualities do you like for a woman a man? Is he kind, handsome, or like um being loyal? Wow, yes. And Kind. Mm -hmm. Not. I don't know if I. I know. I. I. I don't. Ah! <laughs> 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 so go, I cannot. Like your time. Um. Uh, actually, if if not handsome, it's okay for me. But as I'll, long as he's loyal. Yes, loyal, kind. kind yeah, of course. He's a one of a kind Loving, man. caring. Yeah. 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 I agree. I agree. Really. Totally. And how about you? Um, I have a high standards about men. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> what kind of a high? Like high, high, high? <laughs> really high? The highest? <laughs> okay. 
um, it should be responsible and a man, a Moreno. Moreno, yeah. wow. wow. That is embracing our own uniqueness. Yes, of course. Well, so Color. Um, how about, do you like a rich guy or a poor guy? I uh, know I don't like rich guy. I want to be some. <laughs> uh, I I like I like uh, simple guy. Yes, oh. uh, not poor, not rich, but average. Like, yes, average. We have the same. I'm sure. Oh. <laughs> me, I don't know. Money matters. <laughs> <laughs> no, for me, oh, it's not really important. It is about how you guys build together. Yes. How you guys work together to like reach to financial stability like that. When like when talking about financially, I don't really care if a man has really you know, a lot of money or not. Yes, of course. If they do have money, that's a bonus. Mm. But if don't, yeah, it's okay as long well as we work together. They love each uh, other. Yeah, we love each other and we work to have to be financially stable. Yeah, yeah. and that's important exactly. in a relationship. Working together as one. Yeah, and. And that's it, guys. If ever, wait, if ever someone will like you from our subscribers, would you like to talk to them or no? Um, oh, we love to. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> me too. <laughs> okay, guys, so what are you waiting for? Come on, guys, come on. Choose your bed. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and. Hope you like this video guys and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it yet. Like, share it to your friends and thank you guys. Bye. Bye. Okay, one, two, three, go.